Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and today we're going to be doing the second video of the day, okay? I'm really glad that we have a second video because this morning there came out three Justice cards and three Eight of Wands. So something swift is coming in, um, you're either getting justice for something, but I, I'm very happy that I'm doing a second uh, reading so that I can get more clarification on it. So I'm not going to talk too much. There is a giveaway that I'm doing. Um, if you don't know about it, watch the video from this morning. I talk about it there. And um, I just want to get into this reading because I just want to really know what's going on. Ooh, cleaning house. Interesting. Okay. So I, it looks like you're decluttering something. You're cleaning something out. So I'm putting the intention here to Spirit to clarify basically what was said this morning. If you haven't seen that already, it would go. It came in clear, but I just want more, okay? Like, I know it's going to mean something to you, <laughs> but I get very curious when they send, like, messages like that intense out there, okay? It says, uh, when you see this card, uh, it's time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer or truly need. Uh, and if there's... Any unfinished business you should address. Thoughts, memories, emotional baggage must be swept out of the house as well. Your conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Okay. Then it says celebrate spring cleaning and the feel of freedom as you make way for much better things. Look at what you've resisted discarding and be honest about its value. Be honest, clean house. So, yeah, I feel like they're saying this is a time to clear out things. Like yesterday, it was very like in a rush. Like they're, they're really telling you it's time to really like, you know, put down and get the work done. And I feel the same way with this card. Okay. The, I, yeah. Yeah. It's talking as well about just, you know, clearing things out, getting rid of the unwanted, getting rid of stuff that no longer serves you. So it's very important to do that. Um, I have to admit, uh, I do a lot of mental clearing, and I did a lot of physical clearing of my house a couple years back, but I'm due to do it again. Like, there's a lot of things, you know. What I suggest to you where I started, sometimes it's just too much. You look everywhere and you go, oh my God, there's just so much to do. Uh, just take a box and start putting, like, stuff in it that you, you know you're not going to use anymore, okay? And uh, put it in your car and donate it if you can. Um... I know that slowed down a lot because of COVID, but I know my room, my place, they do, they still accept. Smoke and mirrors, 42. Okay, so the plot thickens for me uh, with this. Smoke and mirrors. Hmm. I think this is like you're coming out of a, I feel like they're, like I said, again, they're getting you ready for something. Okay, Pisces, there's something coming in here because it feel, uh, all I feel is a hurriedness, you know, like uh, things are moving, time to move. Okay, time to move. And it says, uh, seeing through the lens of, of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what is being offered. And we did get the four of cups this morning. This is like, offering, okay, not receiving, being, saying no to it, okay, healing from misguided perceptions, moving beyond the illusion of separation, okay, we're not separated, we're all one, okay, being accountable for your biases and the way you view the world. So this is also saying that we are not alone, that some of the stuff that you may have been conditioned to believe, and I'll say conditioned because a lot of us have been thought this. We don't know any better, right? When they teach you that kind of stuff, you just go with what is, right? You just go with what's going on. So let's take from one of these. This, is, this isn't the surrender to. This is the spirit messages. So maybe we could get something here. Okay, stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source, yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to source. So they're saying for some of you, if you haven't taken up this journey yet, it's very important that you have to reconnect with 
your spirit, okay? The spirit world. It's part of you. It's like part of the elements. You have uh, the emotional, the physical. Well, it is part of the elements, but I mean, you have... You know what I mean. Body, mind, and spirit. We go body, mind, and eh, gut, instinct, intuition a little bit, right? So they really want you to integrate that as a whole into your life, okay? That I got this morning, and I do understand that part. That part I really, really understand what they're trying to say, okay? I had a dream I didn't, I didn't really talk about, but I guess now I have to. Um about uh, a light. Uh, the only way I can really put it into um, into words, and it's not a dream, it's, it's, I didn't have a dream, I had a, uh, I don't dream, it's kind of weird. I have like waking dreams. I'm about to wake up and I have, I don't know what to call them. They're like, wake. I guess they're waking dreams. It's just as my consciousness is about to uh, come in, that's when I get like a, it's almost like a download or a vision or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so we'll call it a dream. We'll call it a dream for now, so it's less complicated. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, is it comes in like this. When I was young, I remember seeing pictures of Christ or Jesus or whatever, and he always had this halo behind him. And through my lifetime, I've already, I've always seen that as spirituality, okay? And as I gotten older, when you think of crown chakra or third eye chakra or all of that, you think of that because that is where it's located near your mind, near your head, right? Uh, what I was being shown, though, that this this roundness of lightness of being actually surrounds us from head to toe and beyond. Okay, so the message that I got was we think small. We think in matters of, the message in there was like we think that spirituality is just confined as a separate entity, but it's not. It encompasses all of us and all of our senses. The root chakra, the sacral chakra, all of that, all of those things that are in us and makes us work physically are also intertwined spiritually so it's a whole being we're not it's not separate okay that's the message we're not separate okay so it's time to do the work here okay because I have a feeling that things are coming in okay success is about the joy I feel and where are you genuinely when you are genuinely thrilled by someone else's success that means you are right on track of your own success is not about getting it done the measure of success in life is not the attainment of the money or the stuff the measure of success is absolutely the amount of joy you feel right so no matter where you are on your path or where you're going is the joy of the moment the joy of living it Okay, that is the true uh, test of whether you are going down the right path, okay? And that, I, I believe that. I believe that very, very much. It's, it resonates very clearly for me. All right, so let's see if we can get some more about this thing coming in fast. I think this might be it. I just, I don't know. It, it might still be about the balancing. You have to balance yourself out. you got to figure things out. Wow, these cards are big. I really want to shuffle them. So we're going to take some here and take some here and just shuffle them three different ways. And then we're going to... I love these cards, though. Don't get me wrong. They're wonderful. I love them. They're fantastic. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. See, now I showed you a multiple ways of shuffling them. They're very malleable, like they can shuffle really easy. It's just that there's so much of them that they're hard to split in two. My fingers, they're too long. My fingers don't get around the rest of them, so it gets hard to do. I can do it this way. That one wanted to come up. Fine, it's out. Okay. Eight of Wands. 
Uh, I can't make this up, you guys. I really, I can't. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, go ahead and, and watch it. Okay? This is the fourth time this card comes out today. Okay? Okay. So let's see. This is swiftness, progress, energy, travel, signals, journeys, communication, overcoming blocks, being happy, busy, fast-tracking. Things are happening quickly. Things are in motion with intense energy. Prepare to hold on. It's also a yes card for me. This is very positive energy. This is something coming in full throttle, okay? It's like hold on to something. This is going to get really freaking awesome, okay? So it's like they're telling you clean house, you're getting visitors, you know? It's under the clean house. It's like get all your little ducks in a row there because, you know, this is this is it. Like, do the work on your chakras, do it now, you know, sit with yourself, make it a priority. This is, this is exactly what I'm getting. And it's what I keep getting. Okay. This is insane. It's four times this card comes out today. Four times. Four different decks came out. The Empress. Creative, Okay. So exactly, your creative, your creativity is going to go in full gear, okay, with the Empress. You're bringing life to new ideas, okay. This is a fertile time for you. It's a time of abundance, okay. It's embracing your creative self. This could also mean a birth of some kind for you. Hey, maybe that's it. Something's coming in fast, baby. Uh, maybe you guys are, after this lockdown, are about to have children. You have the judgment card, say connected, okay? Again, about time. There's clocks here. It's like saying the time is now. I find these cards are just, they're saying, okay? You, you have to be accountable for your choices and your behavior. You have to review, okay? You have to awaken, this is a second chance. This may be the chance to connect, okay, with things, to make them happy again. A happiness that we haven't felt yet. I don't know where that came from, to be happy, to be happy. I'm happy. But, I mean, this is, this is like saying this is change. This is review, change, release, release, change. Release, review, change, whatever, whatever order you want them, this is it, okay? This is resolving your issues from the past. This is reconnecting to spirit. This is letting go of those beliefs, okay? Again, I feel an urgency. You know, get ready, because it's going to happen. It's happening for you. Wow, there are a lot that came out. The High Priestess. Success is the joy I feel. Let's see what we have here. Ace of Swords had it this morning. Knight of Cups, we had them this morning. Eight of Cups, I don't think we had that one this morning. Okay, so let's see here. We have the Two of Cups, it's not reversed though. Okay, so, the High Priestess. <sighs> she's about inner wisdom. She's about spirituality. She's about meditation. She's about higher self, okay? And this is saying to be quiet and really listen to yourself. This is not action, though. This is action. This is your creative self. We're starting to get into the action part, okay? The High Priestess is higher up. This is being aware aware of what's going on, that there's a different type of understanding, there's a, a different type of being, okay? And it's very profound, but it is an action. And I feel that this is what they're saying. You need to act, okay? With the Eight of Cups, right here, you need to move. It's, this is like leaving is hard to do, but she's going on a journey too, okay? This is departure, change, journey, change again, and it fell underneath the judgment card, okay? This is change review, stay connected, is in the spirit card at the top here. It's telling you to 
reconnect. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit so you can see. There you can see. Okay. So the Eight of Cups, this is about going on a journey. This is a spirit quest. Okay. They want you to go on the spirit quest. If you haven't done so already, now's the time to do it. Okay. The Knight of Cups, the Empress. With the Empress, smoke and mirrors. Okay. Right. The Empress is about creativity. I don't know about you guys, but my creativity, when I go into it, is a very passionate thing. With the Knight of Cups, it's just telling me to follow your passion. Okay? That everything else was smoke and mirrors. Okay? Follow your true path. Okay? Get Clear that out and go after what truly is you. Okay, now is the time. It's the time to be you. It's the time to follow your alignment, what you were meant to do on this planet. Okay? It's time to get sharp focus. Okay? Because things are coming in fast. It's time to prepare. This is it. This is like, this is clean the house. Things are coming in fast. Get focus on what you're doing. Okay? Clear out the smoke and the mirrors. Okay? Be creative and follow your creative mind and follow your passion. And connect to spirit. Make sure you do because time is of the essence and you need to change and review. And this is a spirit quest, a change and review. Okay? You know what I'm getting out of here? I did it this morning as well. I feel like they're keeping me out. I feel that they're keeping me out of the ultimate answer to this, okay? Maybe because I'm not supposed to know. And this is what I'm getting. I don't think I'm supposed to know exactly what this means, okay? I'm trying to do the fortune telling thing and it's really not what this is about, right? I'm trying to get answers because I am the Queen of Swords and I want answers for you as well as for myself because I want to know what exactly they're talking about and I don't think that until we are ready to get it that we're actually going to get it, okay? I don't think I'm more special than anybody. I think that everybody else is going to get this download in good time. You have the King of Swords here and that came out I think again somewhere, I don't know, it did come out, okay? So. Right. As I'm saying that, I realize that the King of Swords is about cutting to the truth of the matter. Okay? But they want you to have an intensity in your determination so intense that it's blinding. Okay? You have the Eight of Pentacles just clarifying that, saying that you're, you're to do your quality work now. Okay? If now is the time to take out all the stops to do quality work, now is the time. Okay? Follow your High Priestess, your intuition. Okay? This says, okay, and and you're right on track of your own success. Okay, this is about getting it done. And it's not the attainment of it, it's the work towards it, okay? So, it's less important of where we are going. Okay, it is less important than where we're going or how we're going to get there or how it's going to come in, okay? So, I have a funny feeling with... Four of the Eight of Wands, when it comes in, it doesn't matter who we are, we're all going to be a little bit surprised, okay? But the thing is, it's a good surprise. It's not a bad surprise. There's nothing bad here. It's just aligning us, okay? Getting us in direction to where we need to go. And that's truly wonderful, okay? That's truly great. I'm going to get clarification, but I'm pretty sure that this is all I'm going to get from them today, okay? I've tried twice now today to get clarification, right? It, they're basically telling me it's time for a rest. That the uh, the guidance is in the teacher, okay? The only thing that's going to happen now is if I do this, is I'm just going to cause myself sleepless nights trying to figure out what's happening. All they're telling you is that the smoke and mirrors with the Hierophant, the Hierophant card for me when it comes out always means the same thing. It's about getting rid of um, beliefs that no longer suit you. Okay, to me it's a priest card, uh, religions, and I don't, I, I, that's, that's how I associate it. I see a priest when I see this, and, 
they know this card means that I, you know I don't subscribe to that. I subscribe to spirituality. I subscribe to enlightenment. I subscribe to a spiritual guidance. Okay, so they're saying heal. Okay, because this is a card of healing and rest. Heal what needs to be healed. Get rid of those beliefs and don't drive yourself crazy trying to figure out what all of this is because that's what's happening to me. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Just keep doing the work because things are going to move in fast, okay? You're going to see the truth of the matter and you're going to have to move on one way or another, okay? It's going to come in sharp focus for you with the Three of Swords. Okay, now the reading is moving more smoothly since this morning because, well, I finally figured out the message. They do that to me. They will stop me, okay? Again, this card keeps coming out, the Six of Cups. This is tuned in to any work from your childhood, from your inner child, reflections on memories of the past. We've been talking about a lot about that, about how to clear those things out. Um, and, and see some of the memories as the good parts. The, the, there's, there's lessons in the good and the bad of the memories, okay? So don't forget the good memories as well, okay? But it's really uh, what lessons of the past can serve you now. This is, this is the card of inner childlike joy and that. What can serve you from your past? Right. And this will all bring you balance with the Queen of Cups, okay? So this is, I'm glad I got, I was able to get um, clarification on this. So definitely, get ready. Something's coming in. Going to knock the socks off, right? If, all of us, actually. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in a good way, okay? Because if you're watching this, we are preparing. So when something happens, we'll go, oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, it probably won't be like this for some of the world. They're just going to be completely taken by surprise. I don't, I, I, I think that a lot of these things, it's a collective. I know that a lot of readers, a lot of spiritual readers are getting a lot of downloads that are very similar. And I know this for a fact because I don't talk to very many spiritual other people who do this, okay? But I do every once in a while go watch them and think to myself, that's kind of odd. Because we don't talk to each other, we do readings, and we're getting the same messages. So, be ready. I think it's going to be a collective kind of sort of thing, okay? It's being sent to the collective and... The people who are listening to this, such as yourself, you're awakened, or you're awakening for sure. You're very open, okay? So, life is going to change. And it's about time, Pisces. It's about time, okay? And in a good way. We're going to make this ride a much more um, aligned one, okay? Nothing's going to be perfect. We can't really wish for a utopia. We're here to learn lessons. This is a contrast that we do when we come here. But we might, we might shift it into a different gear where it's the outside influences are less likely to be all about ego. This is what I'm getting, okay? It's got to shift out of ego into something else. And this is what the big work is about, okay? But even myself don't completely know how that's going to go or come about. But I get the energies from it very much, okay? And that's why I'm here. I'm here to try to decipher it just as much as you to help you on your journey. So there you go, Pisces. I hope that you enjoy. Keep doing that wonderful work that you're doing. You are so on track and you're on your path. Just do things that make you happy. Don't wait for just the outcome to make you happy. Do something that makes you happy today towards the goal. So that when you look back on it, you'll be looking back on it in fondness and happiness and go, boy, that was a fun ride. Okay? Thank you so much. 
Remember, you have free will. You make your own decisions. You are the boss of your own life. I think you guys are fantastic. Thank you for your support. Lots of love, lots of light, lots of blessings to you, Pisces, always. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow.